Hi, and welcome to my shop. In my last video, I made this auxiliary plate for the multi-router. I have since done some modifications. That's what this video is about. If you haven't watched the first one, you might want to go back and view it because it'll explain a lot that I'm not going to explain here. As you can see, this guy is much longer. 40 inches. I've also added leveler feet on the cart for the multi-router and the support table. Now I got everything in the same plane and level. The support table top is wider and longer as well. And right here I have added two strips of, UM, of UHMW. So very smooth operation. Okay, let me remove this guy. Now in the last video, I said I was gonna cut these registration pins down. I did that. But, there's not a lot to grab onto now, and they're very hard to pull in and out. So, I, I'm going to leave them long from now on. And about these pins, they are just, these ones are just aluminum, and they're not made to any very high degree of accuracy. They're within a couple thousandths. Um, but when I put two of them in to register on the plate here, there's just the slightest bit of wiggle. I found when I put three of them in, I get a good positive registration. There's no movement. These guys are supposed to be around 0.625, about 5 eighths. These holes are supposed to be just a little over that, uh, about 630. I found that when I um, entered the um, diameter of the bit into the uh, tool path, that I had to play with that a little bit to get just the right I, uh, fitting. I don't want it to be too loose. I don't want it to be too tight. So here's the original plate from the last video. This, see this pattern of hole, four holes right here? It repeats right here. What I did on this longer version, I did that pattern here and here. So I can set my registration pins in way out here uh, and gives me more accuracy. So another variation that I'm sure I'm going to be making sometime in the not too distant future is a, an auxiliary table that shoots out in that direction. It'd be the same thing, only it'd be going out there. So I can have support along the long edge of a rail. So in the past, when I uh, had a situation where I wanted to clamp something vertically, on the multi-router, I had these L brackets with uh, vacuum uh, clamping capabilities. And I would place them on the um, tabletop and I would have to fuss with them to get them parallel. Registration was cumbersome. But what I, en what I envision uh, coming up is another L bracket affair for vertically um, placing things on the multi-router, but the one plate, use your imagination here a little bit, um, if the horizontal plate of that L bracket, it will have some, ser some holes, probably just this four pattern like this, so I can register quickly, then it will have the vertical surface that I, that holds pieces. There will be more registration holes here to position this wherever I want it and possibly some uh, vacuum clamping capabilities as well. So I will add um, the drawings for this 40 inch plate to the free download uh, on my website. 
Um, the format will be TurboCAD, that's my native format. Uh, also DXF, most everyone can read that one. Uh, for most CNC operations, and SVG for Shaper Origin. Um, so I've given you just the basics with this whole pattern. Now that you have this whole pattern, uh, you can come up with all kinds of crazy things. If you come up with something, a new variation of this, or you make this, uh, let me know in the comments below.